Hey guys, and welcome back to my bathroom. I decided to uh, film a really easy makeup routine that I do when I'm either feeling lazy or just in a hurry. And it's something I'd wear like to a restaurant or just, just a night out in general. And right now I am suffering a bit of a breakout on my cheek. I've been working a lot on having a lot of different types of foundation and makeup put on my face so that it gave me like a little bit of a breakout there. So I've been trying to let my skin breathe as much as possible and that's also why I'm going to show you this look today because it's a no foundation makeup routine. I am going to use concealer though but I, I don't think that counts right. Just a little concealer just on the pimples but no foundation because I don't want to irritate my skin anymore and I want my skin to be able to breathe. I prep my skin with my go-to Ella Tone moisturizer. Whoop. There we go. If you've seen my videos before, you know I use this like every routine because it's my go-to moisturizer. It's just really great. It gives the skin like this shiny, glowy texture. First thing I'm going to do is to use my concealer. I am using my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. Again, if you've seen my videos, you know I'm obsessed with this. It's in the shade Vanilla Light. By the way, I know some comments are going to say like all your makeup routines use the same type of makeup. Well, the truth of the matter is I don't have a lot of makeup. I rarely do my own makeup. When I work a lot, I like to have my skin breathe on the days I have off so I won't wear makeup. And then sometimes when I have an event, I hire someone to do my makeup because I don't really do it well enough myself. So I don't have a big collection of makeup and I want to make these videos to show you guys you don't have to either. Like you don't have to have an entire vanity like beauty bloggers have. You can have a bunch of different looks with just a basic amount of products. So anyway, rant over and now I'll put on my concealer. The thing I love about this concealer is I can wear it um, without foundation and it just blends perfectly. Also, if you're going out and doing a routine like this, where you're not wearing foundation, or maybe just in general, always take a picture with the flash on, so you can see how you're gonna look, you know, when your friends are taking pictures of you and stuff. Because I've had it before where I didn't do that, and I was wearing a foundation that was way too light for my face, and then, you know, my friends took a picture of me, and I looked like I had put flour on my face. I was just like a ghost. So now, every time before I leave the house, I make sure I see how I'm going to look with, you know, flash on. And I also have some little pimples right there I'm going to cover up. And right here. Next I'm going to take my concealer and put some on my nose and just around here where I get a little redness. under my eyes I'm going to be using my Maybelline bouncy blush I like to use a cream blush when I'm doing this look for sure because I feel like with powder it kind of stands out too much if you're not wearing foundation and with this it's just creamy like the concealer so I can just pop it on and make it look like I naturally have cheeks like this. And that might be a little too much right now because I am not wearing foundation I don't want it to look too like doll like so I'm just taking my I don't even know if this is something you're supposed to do so maybe don't listen to me. Also I finally got a beauty blender you guys I'm so excited. So I just take the beauty blender and then put it on like my makeup wipe and then just gently kind of like take some of it off or like blend it in, I don't know. Again, I'm the furthest thing from a makeup artist so don't know if this actually does. Okay, I think that looks okay. Just like natural blushedness. And even though it's powder, I'm going to use a little bit of my uh, L'Oreal True Match Lumi just very lightly. I thought I had a cream highlighter because that would be better for this, but I don't. So if you guys have any good cream highlighters that you recommend, let me know. And nothing too crazy. I like more simple stuff. A little bit on the top of the cheekbones. 
Good, okay. I thought that's all right. Actually, maybe you can use a powder. I thought it was gonna look really weird without foundation. Usually I don't wear a highlighter. I'm just sprucing things up for this video. But it's actually pretty nice. Make sure it's even. Line with the lingmos. I'm going to use my uh, Maybelline Brow Drama. Give them a little pop. In the shade Soft Brown. Which is the shade I definitely recommend if you're blonde because I accidentally got the regular brown and it was just like way too dark for me. Unless you're into like really defined dark eyebrows. That could be cool too, but it didn't really work for me. And I'm not gonna fill in my brows. Don't really feel like doing that. This is like a lazy makeup routine too, right? So I'm not gonna fill in my brows. For eyeshadow, I'm gonna be using my Naked 2 palette, which unfortunately broke of course the darkest color blackout broke and got all over the other ones but literally I had very rarely used this like it was pretty new so yeah Cooper wants in come on bud you say hi Cooper anyway so um you know some of these shades are a little not as good as they should be because they have the part of the blackout in it. If anyone has any tips too on how to like somehow salvage this, please let me know because I'm really upset about it. I'm going to be using Verve. Nope, that's not Verve. What is this? Suspect. Suspect. It's a really pretty like champagne color. This is always the hardest part for me. I feel like it's so hard for me to get eyeshadow even on both sides. Like I always feel like one side has more than the other. Then I'm gonna take the little baby end of the brush and put it in booty call. And then put it in the corner of my eyes just to give it a little pop. I'm gonna take my mascara, uh, the Rocket by Maybelline, and do my eyes. And then, if you've seen my videos before, you know I'm all about that Maybelline's Great Lash on the bottom. Lashes. This look is very simple. I'm going to dress it up a little bit just by adding a red lip. I love this idea. I feel like it's really like French or European with a very minimal face and then just a red lip. And this, by the way, is um, NYX or NYX, I don't know how you pronounce it, in the shade Amsterdam. I should have brushed my teeth before this. I just noticed I have some bits of sweet potato in my teeth for my lunch. I'm gonna brush my teeth real quick because this is gonna bother me. Okay, I think I got it. Now back to the lipstick. And then just give it a good old. This was like one of the first makeup things I remember doing. I remember like my mom putting on lip gloss when I was little on me and then just saying, you know, she's like, do the smack your lips together. And just finger blot it, blend it a little bit. And a good trick I learned from makeup artists to make sure you don't get it on your teeth is just take a finger and just like, like suck the finger, I guess. <laughs> Sounds really inappropriate, but um, yeah, it will help just keep uh, the lipstick off your teeth because it's off like the rim of your mouth. Fun fact that probably most people already knew. Then you give your hair a little zhuzh and maybe spray some sea salt in it smells so good and you are good to go that is like a very easy simple night out routine look where because you have the red lip on you still look like you put forth some kind of effort you could totally do this with other lip colors too you could do like a bold pink or like a dark red or whatever suits you and what makes you feel confident just try it with that shade too and um an update if you watched my last video my kitchen is okay i've overcome my fears and i did use the stove again and i've learned my lesson to put pam not on the stove top 
But thank you guys so much for all of your kind concerns and comments on last videos. You're so sweet. That definitely meant a lot to me. Thank you guys so much for joining me again for a little makeup routine in my bathroom. Hope you enjoyed it. If you guys like more videos like this, let me know or any other comments, ideas, suggestions. I definitely read the comments and I love putting up content that you guys enjoy. So let me know and sorry, Cooper's like playing with the shower curtain. I hope you all have a fabulous week and I will catch you on the flip side.